There's so many things to do at QuiltCon. How do you fit it all in? There's lectures, there's classes, there's special activities, and we've only got four days to do it all. It's a five-step process. So grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, and settle in, because we're on the way to Nashville, QuiltCon 2019. I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. It's eight months, 35 weeks, 248 days before QuiltCon. So this is my third video in a series that I'm doing on going to Nashville. If you're just here for the first time, I've linked up to the past videos below. And if you haven't done it already, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. The more likes I get, the more people get to see the video. Change of plans here. I'm inside, not doing my normal walk. It's raining. So we're talking about registering for classes at QuiltCon Nashville 2019. Where do we begin? First of all, you need to go to the QuiltCon website, go under the conference tab, go under the catalog tab and download the catalog. You don't have to print it. It's 80 pages long. You can save the environment and just look at it online and make notes. I have printed myself a copy, but I'm going to pass it around at my guild. There's lots of good things in this catalog about the modern guild, about the location and accommodation and travel, volunteering and the charity quilt project, but we're not talking about that today. Go straight to the lecture description and the workshop descriptions. Lectures start on page 29 and workshops start on page 39. This is the first pass. This is just a gut reaction. Flag anything that's interesting, make little notes, and it'll be different for everyone. What I've done is I've gone through and I've made little pink tabs on all the classes that are interesting. Next, you should go to the faculty list. This is on pages 64 to 71. I encourage you to go to each one of the faculty members website and Instagram account. Take a look at what colors they like to use, what techniques they like to use, how long they've been quilting, and just get a gut feel as to whether this is your type of instructor and flag these ones. And right following this section is a faculty index. And this is where they list the instructor with the various classes they're teaching. We're getting more in depth here. Not only do you see the techniques they're teaching, but what levels they're teaching. And finally, there is an event index on page 76 to 80. This lists all the classes, all the special events, all the lectures, and it lists by technique. So if you want to go through all the foundation paper piecing classes, there is the list of all the teachers, all the classes, and they're listed by level. Go back to page 19 and just take a look at the skill level description. Each class is given an alphanumeric code. The first three letters refer to the category, and the last three are based on the skill level. There's a description on page 19, what is the difference between beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now, I would encourage you to repeat all this process at least one more time. It's just to get more clarity in your head of what's available and who's teaching it. Okay, so now you've read through the lectures, you've gone through the courses, you've investigated the faculty. Now you need to review the classes for two more things. So you gotta be honest with yourself. You don't wanna end up in a class that you are a beginner and they're looking for advanced technique or vice versa. And this is not equal. Like you may be a beginner and applique, but you may be an experienced long armor. The other thing that you need to dig deep with is the extras with every class. Probably going to be a pattern or a tool or some other kit fee that you need to purchase. Is this going to be appropriate for your budget? There's also going to be tools that you need to bring in fabric and supplies and if you're traveling from a distance are you going to be able to take these all on the plane with you? You don't need to bring a sewing machine with you. You have a list now of classes. You're going to have some things that tick all the boxes. It's on a subject that you want to learn more about. It's a skill that you need to improve and an instructor that you want to hear speak or teach. These are going to be your A-list 
classes. The ones that are just two out of the three are gonna be your Bs, and the ones that are just one out of the three are your Cs. Now go back to pages 22 to 25 of the schedule, and let's plot out when and where they are. If the quilt con odds are shining in your favor, your classes that you're interested in will be distributed well over the four days. Hopefully they're not all at the same time. So we've got them all mapped out. The last thing we need to look at is your budget. How much can you afford? A full day workshop is $162.50. A half day workshop is $79.20. Lectures are $12.75 each. Even if you can afford it, it's not a good idea to fill up your timetable with classes and lectures all day long, all four days. You need to walk the quilt show. Every time you walk through, you see things differently. There's just so much to see. You can only absorb so much of it at a time. There's also other special events. There's yoga classes every morning. There's a leadership breakfast on Saturday morning. There's the welcome reception on Wednesday and a happy hour on Thursday and Friday. There's a tour of the special exhibits with Mary Fawns on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's the Modern Quilt Guild swap reception on Saturday. New this year is the Sewing Lounge, sponsored by Baby lock where you can rent a machine for three hours and finish off one of your projects. Please, you must volunteer. I find it's really fun being a white glove lady. Power in these gloves. You might be saying, I'm too shy. We're quilters. We're all shy. Okay, so now the fun part. On Tuesday, June 26th, 10 a.m. on the East Coast, 7 a.m. on the West Coast, QuiltCon registration for 2019 opens. All around the world, there will be quilters poised at their computer, hundreds trying to get on at the same time. In the past, this hasn't been a perfect process, but it's truly no difficult than any other conference. The first people in get their first choice of classes. The Modern Quilt Guild has a webinar on how to navigate their registration system. I've posted a link down in the notes below if you're wanting to take a look at this. So this last step can be so frustrating. You've put in all the hard work and figuring out what classes you want to take and your computer has a slow internet connection or maybe you've got a really important meeting and you can't get on at that right time. So be sure to have a plan B if your first choices are taken. You might need a plan C, D, hopefully not an E or F. Don't think you'll go through and just do one, get that one and then go back and get the other ones. You got to do them all at once. My experience, there's a couple of types of classes that go really fast and those are the free motion and the long arming. If you really want it to take a particular class and you the class is full by the time you get through the registration process, don't despair. There's a couple of chances that you might be able to get it secondhand. I'll talk about those in another video though. So I'm going to end this video with a wish Good hunting, best of luck in your registration. So thank you all for showing up. If you haven't taken the time yet, please like this video, please subscribe to this video. If you have any requests for future videos, please post it in the comments below. This is one in a series, so I hope to see you back next time.